It was nearly eight years ago the coconut rhinoceros beetle was first spotted on our island paradise. It was found in Tumon Bay, September 11th, 2007. Uh, at first it was very localized, so we tried to eradicate it, completely stamp it out, and unfortunately we failed at doing that. As University of Guam entomologist Dr. Aubrey Moore explains, Guam implemented a biological control, a virus that only attacks the pest. It's been used all over the Pacific very successfully. Usually when you introduce the virus into the rhino beetle population, the damage is reduced by about 90 percent. And the neat thing is it sticks around for at least 30 years, so it's a long-lasting control methodology. Fast forward to today, Guam's rhino beetle has proven immune to the virus, prompting the naming of a new biotype. And they found out that the Guam beetle is very different from other coconut rhinoceros beetles elsewhere in the Pacific. Uh, at first, we only found it on Guam, and we're calling it a biotype, the CRB, coconut rhinoceros beetle, Guam biotype. It's not only bad news for Guam, but also Hawaii, Papua New Guinea, and the Solomon Islands, where the Guam biotype has also been spotted. This is very worrisome to entomologists in the Pacific because we have this, this new type of rhino beetle that's moving around. Guam officials are working with New Zealand to trace the Guam biotype's origin. We need to find a biocontrol agent that really works, that will keep it under control, it will stop the population from exploding. And right now I think we might be on the cusp of, of seeing a huge population explosion. A population boom could be a direct result of recent weather conditions. With the typhoons moving through, uh, they've actually made lots of breeding sites in the jungle. And uh, many of these areas we just cannot get to to do sanitation. They're either deep in the jungle or on military bases and, and there's, there's no way we can uh, get in there and clean up all of these sites. At most, 15 percent of Guam's coconut tree population has been killed as a result of the rhino beetle. Although the pest wrath can be seen throughout the island, Dr. Moore says heavily damaged trees can still be saved. Homeowners can do their part to protect their trees by using Tekken netting to cover green waste piles as well as tying Tekken netting in the tree's fronds. The netting prevents new bugs from emerging as well as traps bugs coming in. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. And this stuff is available to the